as you know, we watch a lot of documentaries and educational shows in our homeschool. My boys learn well with it. And frankly, sometimes it's just an easy way to outsource some learning. And especially during the winter, do I like to do this when it's cold outside and I just want to sometimes sit on the couch under a blanket with some hot chocolate and watch something with my kids. So today I'm going to share with you. Now all of today's shows are on Netflix or Amazon Prime, Netflix streaming and Amazon Prime streaming. The first one is one I just put on our list and it's called Tales of Iceland. What I'm looking for shows for us, and I should say we do like a weekly, we have a weekly documentary time, um, one afternoon a week where we watch something that's not tied to the rest of our learning. When I'm looking for shows for that, I, of course, I love to find shows that are you know, tied to something that we're learning, but for this particular time, I just like to find ones that are interesting, and especially if I can find something that's a little bit out of the ordinary, something really unique. And this one fits the bill because I had no idea that um, horse breeding is a big thing in Iceland. Um, from the research I was doing, it sounds like it's, you can take tourist, um, tours, <laughs> vacation tours to um, places in breeding farms. Anyway, I thought it was something unique, and so first one is called Tales of Iceland. Now the next one is called Antarctic Tears, and this is a story of the first American who was attempting to ski, cross-country ski, from the coast of Antarctica to the South Pole and then back again. Um, again, like <laughs> that's not something that I would normally like, it's not going to tie into our learning. Any, in any way, but it's having something different, and I don't know, I love the idea of uh, a solo journey across half of Antarctica by yourself, like, that seems pretty <laughs> amazing to me. So, Antarctic Tears, number two. Power number three, Conquering the World, and this one is about a mountain climber named Richard Richard Park, not Richard Peck, the author. <laughs> um, Richard Park, and he's trying to reach the highest summits on every continent plus the poles. And my boys love adventure type stories. And so again, nothing that would tie into our learning, but sounds interesting and nice and cold. And I'll watch someone else be out there <laughs> climbing the high heights and not myself. Now, Netflix, two recommendations there. One is called Night on Earth, which is a, a docu-series, but there's one specifically called Frozen Nights. And this one is what the title sounds like. It, it takes nights, you know, it's filmed at nighttime, and the wildlife and what's going on at night. When I'm choosing videos, not only do I like to find something unique, but I like to vary the length and the style. So some of them will be um, like a nice, a shorter one like this. Others will be you know, an hour and a half or two hour long documentary type of thing. And sometimes we split those up as well. Um, but I like to put in a, a range of style, something more professional, um, highly scripted type of thing like this versus something like In Art Tears, which is a more casual-ish video. I like to keep that range so that each week we have something to look forward to and something it doesn't feel like it's the same kind of thing every week. That makes sense. And number five for you is called Untamed Romania. Again with something unique. Romania, like, my boys love animals and wildlife. You just know this. But most of those are taped in like Africa, United States, you know, the big places. But something like Romania, what wildlife is in Romania? I don't know, but I'll find out when I watch this. You know, um, last year we watched one about the wildlife in it was Ireland, Ireland or Scotland, somewhere up in that area. I have no idea about it. 
Never even occurred to me to wonder what wildlife was there. Well, same with Romania. Never occurred to me. But after this, all know. So those are five recommendations. The titles are down there. If you want even more recommendations, head over to my blog where I've got a blog post with more than 50, 50 wintry themed documentaries, educational shows for you. Link down there. I'll see you in the next video.